Hi, my name is Pastor Charles Williams, <clears throat> and I'm the founder and the creator of the concept known all over the world today as the Amber Alert System here in the United States of America and the Child Rescue Alert in other parts of the world. And this is the activation of an Amber Alert. Four, three, two, one. This is the activation of an Amber Alert at the request of the law enforcement community from Houston County, Texas. That's Houston County, Texas. Authorities in Texas are looking for uh, two children. Uh, they are looking for a one-year-old. Uh, the one-year-old's name is uh, Jordan Malik Simpson and uh, a two-year-old by the name of uh, Kamara Simpson. Uh, the two are believed to be with their uh, with the two are believed to be with Bonnie Benton, a uh, 48 year old female who's driving a 2005 Honda Accord uh, with Texas license number CYX069. That's CYX069. Uh, let's see here. It says that uh, Miller was identified as the children's grandmother. Jordan Simpson is about 18 inches tall, weighs 20 pounds, and has black hair and black eyes. The alert said no information uh, was available. <clears throat> I'm sorry, no information on what he was last seen wearing was available. Um, Navaya Simpson is uh, three feet tall, weighing 35 pounds, has brown hair, right, has brown eyes, and was last seen wearing a light colored jacket, uh, a pink or a red shirt and black pants. Miller, uh, the suspect, is 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighs 183 pounds, has black hair and brown eyes. The alert uh, says that authorities believe that the children are in grave danger. Now again, this is coming to us out of uh, Houston County, Texas. And you may say, where in the world is Houston County, Texas? That's up near uh, that's up between Crockett and Lufkin, Texas. Out there between Crockett and Lufkin, Texas. Um, again, an Amber Alert has been issued uh, this afternoon for these two young Texas teens. I mean, these two young Texas babies. Um, now, here's the thing that uh, that's a little, um, I need a little more clarification on, and I will get it. Um, is that these two have not been seen, these two kids, this one and two year old, have not been seen since February 21st. Folks, that's almost two weeks ago, okay? Um, I don't know, and we will find out, uh, why it took so long to uh, get this uh, information up to Amber Alert status, but uh, nevertheless, we, we, we now have it. And uh, I am appealing to all of my friends in the uh, Texas area, all of our media partners in the Texas uh, area to please repeat and please repost uh, this video so that uh, we can uh, hopefully bring about a happy resolution to this alert. Once again, uh, to repeat, we are looking for an Amber Alert has been issued uh, for two missing uh, African-American children from the great state of Texas. Uh, this alert was issued at the request of the Houston County law enforcement community on today. Uh, an Amber Alert was issued uh, this afternoon for two young Texas children uh, who has not been seen since February 21st uh, in Canard, uh, which is located between Crockett and Lufkin, Texas. Uh, Jordan Simpson, age one, and Nevaeh Kamara Simpson, age two, are believed to be with Bonnie Benton, uh, Bonnie Benton Miller, uh, age 48, who is driving, once again, a 2005 Honda Accord with Texas license plate numbers CYX069, that's CYX069. Miller was identified as the child's, as the children's grandmother, Jordan Simpson is uh, 18 inches tall, weighs 20 pounds, and has black hair and black eyes, uh, the alert says, and no information on what he was last seen wearing was available. Nevaeh Simpson uh, is 3 feet tall, 35 pounds, has brown eyes, and was last seen wearing a light-colored jacket, 
uh, a pink or a red shirt and black pants. Uh, Bonnie Miller is, uh, she is five foot, six inches tall, weighs 183 pounds, and has black hair and brown eyes. The alert says that these children are believed to be in grave and immediate danger. So we need the help of our social media partners. If you have the opportunity, we invite you to download the uh, traffic cams and uh, maybe uh, maybe you can see something during the nighttime or maybe you can see something uh, during the daytime. You just never you just never know. You may be the one that, that will make a difference uh, by activating and by using the uh, traffic cam uh, in this. Here is the picture. I'm going to see how well you can get this here. But here is a picture of the two little uh, babies that we're looking for. Let's see. Can we get it up there? I believe I believe we can. Okay. This is a picture of the two little babies that we're looking for. And um, uh, these pictures will be posted on our website at www.theamberstory.com. That's www.theamberstory.com. And uh, give me just a few minutes and uh, we'll have that information uploaded. And uh, for more updates about this Amber Alert, uh, they will be posted. Every time we get an update or the situation changes, uh, we will post this. We will post it in the comment section. So if you keep getting these alerts, uh, they're not the same alerts. Uh, it's just that something new has happened or a new development has happened and we want you to be informed of the very latest uh, information. So once again, I want to thank you for your support in uh, supporting these Amber Alerts. It really does take a village to raise a child and it takes a village to save a child. And we're calling up on you. You just never know. That's one thing about this Amber Alert. You may go out, go into the store this afternoon and... You may be right behind the car. Who knows? They could be anywhere in the country at this time. They've had a two-week run, a two-week head start on us on this one. So, and, uh, you know, I, I shared with you on yesterday, re, uh, go back and watch some of the previous videos. Um, if you know that there's a situation between your grandparents and, and, and you and, and so forth, uh, or you have some mentally unstable grandparents, don't leave your kids with them. Don't entrust your kids with them. Remove their names off of uh, child care, um, off of child care uh, paperwork and school paperwork. Uh, don't entrust them to pick them up because you never know. That may be the very last time that you'll see your child. Uh, just last week, we had a grandmother, very same identical case to this. Very last week in Connecticut, a grandmother went and picked up her two her two grandsons and killed them. And turn the gun on herself. So this is why we cannot take situations like this lightly. Okay. And uh, uh, I'm doing my best in trying to uh, uh, re-educate law enforcement through these videos and, and, and other information that we just keep putting out there to don't take these situations lightly. Don't even take family involved situations lightly. Because too many times we're finding out that it's not the stranger that we don't know that's harming our children, but it's the stranger that we do know that's harming our children. My name is Pastor Charles Williams. Once again, I am the founder and the creator of the concept known all over the world today as the Amber Alert System here in the United States of America and the Child Rescue Alert in other parts of the world. You can read more about us at www.theamberstory.com. That's www.theamberstory.com. I'll see you over at the website. Give me a few minutes to post this stuff up, and uh, we'll, uh, you, you'll be able to view the pictures in a, in a little more better light. God bless now, and I'll talk to you later now. Bye-bye.